1. Find the equation of the tangent and normal to the following curve at given point. So we know tangent is dy over dx. Right? This one is the gradient of tangent. And gradient of normal, we can use m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. Which means the gradient of tangent times the gradient of normal, you are going to get negative 1. Which means the gradient of normal is equal to negative 1 divided by m1. Okay, so for the first one, so you have fx is equal to 5x squared minus 7x minus 1. So the point is given as 1, negative 3. So we see here dy over dx. So the first derivative here. So when we differentiate, we bring the power forward and multiply with the constant in front. 2 times 5 is 10. And then we minus the power with 1. So this one is minus. So 7x. The one with x, we only take 7. And the one with constant is 0. So we get 10x minus 7. So we know that this is the equation of the tangent. So we wanted to know what is the tangent at the given point. So here, when x is equal to 1, the gradient is equal to 10, 1 minus 7, which is equal to 3. So we know that this is the gradient of tangent. But now we want the equation. So, equation is y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. You can also use y is equal to mx plus c. It's okay, but this one we are given. We have the point and we have the gradient. So, we can... So, here y minus, so this one is x, this one is y. y1 is negative 3 is equal to... So, our m, the gradient is 3. We get it just now. So, x minus x1 is equal to 1. So, y plus 3 is equal to 3x. So, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So, we wanted to get only y. So, we bring 3 to the right. We get 3x minus 3 minus 3. So, here we get y is equal to 3x minus 6. So, this one is equation of tangent. y is equal to 3x minus 6. So here to get the equation of normal, so here to get the equation the normal, so we are using this one, but then we need to get the, the gradient of normal. So we know that m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. So here m1, m2 is equal to negative 1. So m2 is equal to negative 1 over m1. So which is negative 1 over, so the gradient of tangent is 3 just now, which is equal to negative 1 over so here we can substitute so y minus y1 is this one negative 3 is equal to so our m is negative 1 over 3 x minus x1 is 1 so y plus 3 is equal to negative 1 over 3x negative negative become positive 1 over 3 now we want only y so we bring 3 to the back so negative 1 over 3x plus 1 over 3 minus 3. So, negative 1 over 3x. So, 1 over 3 minus 3, we get negative 8 over 3. So, here we get y is equal to negative 1 over 3x minus 8 over 3. So, here in your textbook, you can see that uh, the answer is three. Uh, the answer is uh, is equal to zero, right? So there is few ways for you to show the uh, equation of the line. So another way is that here you remove the you want to remove the denominator, right? So you multiply everything with uh, with three x minus eight over three. So you times three times three times three three and three got cancelled. So you have three y is equal to negative x minus 8. So you need to bring everything. 3y plus x plus 8 is equal to 0. So this one is correct. This one is also accepted. So any, any, way, you want it, any way you want to write your equation. Okay, so a. fx is equal to x cubed minus 5x plus 6 at the... So here 2, 4... So here when we differentiate, first derivative, so 3 we bring forward. So we know that we don't have constant, but then this one is actually 1. So just get 3 
x3 minus 2 minus 5x we get 5 and constant we get 0 so here we get 3x so 3 minus 1 sorry is 2 minus 5 so we bring the power forward and then we minus the power with 1 okay so now we get this one okay so we are given a point right so when x is equal to 2 so our gradient of tangent is equal to 3 2 square minus 5 which is equal to 3 4 minus 5 12 minus 5 is equal to 7 so now we can put inside our equation so equation y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1 because we know when it is a equation of tangent or normal so it is it must be a straight line so either this way or this way so that's why we are using the equation of a straight line okay so here equation of tangent so y minus y1 y minus so this one is x this one is y so our y is 4 is equal to so our gradient just now is 7 x minus so the coordinate is 2 so y minus 4 is equal to 7x 7 times x 7 times negative 2 we get negative 14 y is equal to 7x minus 14 so we bring this one to the right you will get positive 4 so here you get 7x so negative 14 plus 4 is minus 10 so this is equation of tangent so we just write it here 7x minus 10 and then for tangent so we have to find the the point is the same but then the the gradient is different so we know that m1 m2 is equal to negative 1 so m2 is equal to negative 1 divided by m1 which is negative 1 divided so the gradient of tangent is 7 so we get negative 1 over 7 so here y minus y1 so the coordinate y is 4 is equal to the gradient is negative 1 over 7 so this one is x minus x1 is equal to 2 so here y minus 4 is equal to negative 1 over 7 x negative 1 over 7 times negative 2 we get positive 2 over 7 so y is equal to negative 1 over 7 x plus 2 over 7 so here we bring to the back we get minus 4 so this one is minus so we get plus 4 so here we get negative 1 over 7 x so 2 over 7 plus 4 we get 30 over 7 this one is correct but then you can also make it into another form so you multiply everything with 7 because you want to remove the denominator so here you get 7y is equal to negative x plus 30 right and then you bring everything to one side so 7y plus x minus 30 is equal to 0 so this one is accepted so there's few way but this is like if you get this one then that is it all right okay so this one done So C f x is equal to set to x plus one. So we know when we want to in, uh, differentiate, the power needs to be outside, right? So this one two x plus one power of half. So here we can differentiate. So the first derivative. So when we differentiate. So now we can differentiate. So when we want to differentiate, we see here this one is bracket with power. So what we need to do, so we differentiate without touching the bracket, the inside of the bracket first. So half we bring forward, we get half 2x plus 1 and then we minus the power with 1. So this is uh, differentiation, right? Then after that only you have to differentiate what is inside the bracket. 
So I'm writing d over dx because we haven't differentiate this one yet. So this one is actually half 2x plus 1. Half, half minus 1 is negative half. And when you differentiate 2x, you get 2. When you differentiate 1, you get 0. So half times 2 is actually 1. So here you have 2x plus 1 power of negative half. So the power cannot be negative. So I bring it here. So 1 over 2x plus 1 power of half you see. Is equal to third 2x plus 1. Okay. So this is the equation of the uh, equation of the tangent. Alright. So now, now we're doing C. So we have point which is 4, 3. So here x is equal to 4. When x is equal to 4, the gradient is equal to 1 over z. 2, 4 plus 1 which is equal to 1 over z 9 which is equal to 1 over 3. So now we know the uh, gradient of tangent is 1 over 3. So we know that m1 is equal to 1 over 3. So now equation, so y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. At the point here is 4, 3. So the equation of tangent, so this one is 4c just now, the continuation. So y minus y1, this one is x, this one is y, minus 3 is equal to, so the gradient just now is 1 over 3. x minus x1 is equal to 4. So here y minus 3 is equal to 1 over 3 times x is 1 over 3x. 1 over 3 times negative 4 is negative 4 over 3. So y is equal to 1 over 3x minus 4 over 3. So I bring negative 3 to the right. It will become positive 3 which is equal to 1 over 3x. So negative 4 over 3 plus 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. Negative 4 plus 9 is positive 5 over 3. Okay, now equation of normal. So we know that this one, uh, so we know that this one is 1 over 3, right? So m2 is equal to negative 1 over 1 over 3. And then here you get, so this one is negative 1 times 3 over 1, you get negative 3. So now you have the gradient, you have the coordinate, you can put it inside your formula. So here y minus y1 is equal to 3 is equal to m is negative 3 x minus x1 is equal to 4 so here y minus 3 is equal to negative 3 times 4 is negative 3 x negative 3 times negative 4 is plus 12 so y minus 3 is equal to negative 3 x plus 12 y is equal to negative 3 x plus 12 minus 3 so, sorry plus 3 because you bring negative to the right so here you get negative 3x plus 15 so this one is for the uh, tangent and this one is for the normal so like i said before there's few way of showing uh, the equation you can put it this way or you can make it equal to zero but as long as you get the equation right okay so d So d f x is equal to x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 at point 3, 2. So here, to differentiate, so we have equation up and down. So the only way we can do it is using quotient rule. So here, v du over dx minus u dv over dx divided by v squared. In order to use this formula, you need to know what is your v, what is your u, what is your du over dx, what is your u and what is your dv over dx. So then only you can substitute. So here, up here is u. So u is x plus 1. Down here is your v. So v is equal to x minus 1. So if your u is this one, so du over dx is equal to x will become 1, 1 will become 0. So here dv over dx is equal to x will become 1, this one will become 
0 now we can substitute because we have all this point so here f is equal to v or v is x minus 1 so du over dx is actually 1 minus your u is x plus 1 your dv over dx is 1 divided by so this one is v square so v square is x minus 1 square so here x minus 1 you get x minus 1 negative time x you get negative x negative time 1 you get negative 1 divided by x minus 1 square so x negative x can be cancelled out so you get negative 2 divided by x minus 1 square so this is your equation radian of tangent so here we are given point 3 2 so we wanted to know at this point what is our gradient of tangent so when x is equal to 3 so then the gradient at 3 is equal to negative 2 divided by 3 minus 1 square so negative 2 divided by 3 minus 1 is 2 square which is negative 2 divided by 4 which is equal to negative half so this is the gradient of tangent so m is equal to negative half so again continuation of d so equation y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 so we know that the equation so this one the point is 3 2 right so the equation of tangent so y minus y1 is equal to 2 this one is x y 2 is equal to the gradient is negative half x minus x1 is equal to 3 so y minus 2 is equal to negative half x negative half times negative 3 we get positive 3 over 2 so y is equal to negative half x plus 3 over 2 so negative 2 you bring to the right negative will become positive 2 so you get negative half x so 2 is actually 4 over 2. 3 times 3 plus 4 is 7 over 2. So equation of normal. So we know that this one m1 is equal to negative half. So m2 is equal to negative 1 divided by m1. m1 is negative half. So you get with negative so we get positive 2 so okay lah for those who ask so this one when we divide with fraction so we have to multiply opposite so we get this one is negative this one is also negative so we get positive 2 so here y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 so here y minus y1 is equal to 2 so our m for the normal is 2 and then x minus x1 is 3 so y minus so y minus 2 is equal to 2 times x is 2x 2 times negative 3 you get negative 6 so y is equal to 2x minus 6 and then here negative 2 you bring it to the right will become positive 2 so here you get 2x minus 4